After experiencing a brief shutdown period due to the impact of the coronavirus, Eastern Kentucky University has decided to shift to an online-only format for the remainder of the spring 2020 semester. This decision was made by Interim President David McFadden on March 17th. He sat down with us to discuss why he made the decision and what steps the university will take to overcome the virus. The Habitat Restore in Clark and Madison County is accepting new or gently used household goods, appliances, furniture, and more. When you donate or purchase an item at the Restore, you are helping build a home for someone in need right here in your community. Shop, donate, volunteer at the Habitat Restore of Clark and Madison County. As far as uh, what would have been uh, the normal uh, uh, the normal semester is, is no longer normal, so there's been a lot of uh, a lot of changes over the last several weeks, uh, dealing with uh, uh, unprecedented times as it relates to uh, the coronavirus and, and other issues uh, in and around trying to shift how we do things uh, to to a virtual space. McFadden explained why he ultimately made the decision to go online only, as well as if and when the graduating senior class will be able to attend a commencement ceremony. We're looking out for everyone's uh, health and well-being, uh, not only their physical health, but their mental health. And so we've had to make some tough decisions, but we feel like this, those were the decisions that were best uh, to protect our students and our faculty and staff, uh, to put us on firm footing uh, for finishing the semester so that the students who are scheduled to graduate, our, our graduates, will graduate. They will get their diplomas. Uh, we will have a commencement exercise a little later than, than normal, but uh, we're, we're hopeful to have that sometime uh, in, in the late summer or into the, the early fall semester. McFadden also went into detail about what the university's plans are when the coronavirus pandemic eventually subsides. We're making long-term plans. Uh, the fact that our faculty, uh, our staff, our support uh, services on campus have come together over this week, converted all of our coursework to an online format, uh, that is nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, as we look forward, um, our summer session is predominantly an online session as it is, so we see no impact for our summer offerings. And then as we look to the fall, um, you know, I think it's a little early to speculate where we're at there, but, but rest assured that we'll be prepared and we'll be ready and we'll do what's in the best interest of uh, the safety and the success of our students uh, and our faculty and staff. The interim president closed with a message to EKU students and faculty assuring them not to worry about the potential long-term effects of this virus. We have seen many, many crises that uh, have, have, have gripped the world, have gripped our nation, and uh, we're still here serving. Uh, I can assure our, our students, our faculty and staff, that we will be here serving many, many generations to come of students who come through these doors looking for opportunity, looking to better themselves, to go out and make a difference in the world. And so that's what we're about. We're the school of opportunity. We're the school that's powering our Kentucky communities. And so we're going to continue to do that because that's what we do best. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Alex Carbosh.